Let's look at where the energy goes, energy flow diagram for a car that's moving along a horizontal stretch of road. So here the car is moving, it starts off at 20 meters per second at position one, two, three, and then it comes to a rest at position four. So I'm looking at this, first thing, look at my energies. I've got potential energy due to gravity, and there's no height change in the car. Since there's no height change in the car, there's no energy exchange with the earth. So I'm not even going to consider that. The PEG, that's going to go away completely. No potential energy due to gravity for the car. It is moving, so it's going to have kinetic energy. It's moving at 20 meters per second at the left, zero at the right because it came to rest. So therefore, because it's moving, where the, it's moving the fastest, has the most amount of kinetic energy, that's at position one, and where it's moving the slowest, in this case zero, that's at position four, and I'm not going to have any kinetic energy. So I just had this gradual decrease in kinetic energy as I moved from position one to position four. So now the question is, well, where did the energy flow to? Well, I didn't change any height, I didn't compress any springs, I didn't do anything fancy to store that energy, so instead I lost that energy in the brakes or in friction, and whenever we lose energy like that, we call it thermal energy. So basically what I did was I heated up the air all around the car and having it stop.